Welcome back to Design Smith. Today I want to show you how to do an envelope distort effect in Adobe Illustrator. Before we get started, please subscribe to support the channel. All right, so an envelope distort is when you take two objects and kind of combine them together. One of the most common ways that people utilize this feature is placing text inside of a particular shape. So let's go ahead and draw just like a rectangle right down here. We'll just kind of start off with something basic. Here's some text right here, and let's change it to something that's a little bit more legible. I was overthinking it, so let's just use enter. It's a great font anyway. All right, so now that we've got both of these shapes down onto our artboard, what we need to do is move this shape to the front. Whatever shape that you're trying to combine the text with has to be in the very front. So with this shape selected, we're gonna go up here to Object, Arrange, and Bring to Front. And now let's select both the shape and the text, and we're gonna go up to Object, Envelope Distort, and Make with Top Object. So as you can see, this text is now contained within this shape. And this text is still editable inside of this shape. So let's double click on this, and then double click again to get this highlighted and the song's Champagne Supernova is in my mind right now, so we'll just use that. And you'll notice that the text is getting a lot skinnier the more that we type, and it's because that text is being constrained inside of the shape. So in order to change that, let's go up here to the top left where we have this envelope top, and we've got Edit Envelope and then Edit Contents. And if we have Edit Contents selected, whenever we resize the shape right here, it's not actually gonna change the width of the words here. What we need to do is select Edit Envelope right here. And now we can change this and resize this however we want to. And if we double click on this again, if we do something like add a paragraph return, then it's gonna place the bottom word on a separate line, but still maintain this shape right here, no matter what we do. And then we can still go in here and then edit things like kerning, and we can go in here and change the letting, but as you can see here, it's gonna change the overall height of the words. So as you can see, the text is actually being transformed with respect to the object that it's inside of. So let's do something a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna hit N to activate my pencil tool, and I'm gonna double click on the pencil tool, and we're gonna increase the fidelity all the way up to smooth and hit okay. And now I'm just gonna draw like a amoeba type of shape like a Nickelodeon slime type of thing. And we don't need to set a color for this, it's just habit for me. So I'm gonna hold down shift and just kind of scale that down to move it out of the way. And I'll type Nickelodeon because of the shape. And now let's make sure we bring this to the front. And now we'll select both of these. And the keyboard shortcut for this on Mac is Command Option C. And on Windows, it's Alt Control C. So I'm gonna do this, Option Command C. And that places the text inside of the shape. And just like before, we can double click on this and we can change it. We can even change it to the 90s Nickelodeon font and why not the color as well? And here's one last thing we can do. We can actually edit this shape even after we've created this. So with our shape selected, we're gonna hit A on our keyboard. That's gonna bring up our direct selection tool and you can click on these anchor points individually and manipulate this. And just remember whenever you cross your anchor points right here, you'll get this weird twisting effect. It's just like crossing the streams. So you can keep on manipulating this, changing the shape, getting it exactly the way that you want. And whenever you get it exactly the way that you want to, if you wanna finalize the shape, we're gonna go up here to Object, Expand, and Expand Object and Fill, and hit OK. And as you can see, it's removed that envelope distort, and it is now one shape. And we can no longer go in and edit that envelope. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please subscribe to support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.